<laughs> Let's go welcome to what I promised to be the last episode of Fallout New Vegas. Before we get into this skirmish with the Colonel, Colonel Jessup, I want to thank you guys for watching this series. It's been a uh, pleasant surprise how many people have enjoyed the series. Um, you know, and I've had a ton of fun playing it along the way. I'm looking to... Uh, End this thing on a high note. Like I said, I don't think we're done with the new Yegas content, but in terms of the main storyline, there are a bunch of mods that I want to check out. Um, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel for that. But that being said, let's go ahead and get ourselves into a final skirmish. What the heck was that? We need to oh, get Shrek. We need to get healed up here. It pays to have high friends in low places. Let's go ahead and look at that. Squad goals. That was it? You I thought we were gonna a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but well. I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality. What? To be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry. Everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters, so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be. Off making a few changes. We didn't authorize I, that. I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. That fresh independence. With Mr. House out <coughs> of the picture, the remaining Securitrons on the Strip were hard-pressed to keep order. Anarchy ruled the streets. No, sons of anarchy. When the fires died, New Vegas remained, assuming its position as an independent power right. in the Mojave. Ruled by neither government the ideals of independence, church nor state. The courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free 21. New Vegas. <laughs> he ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. It's ours. New Vegas is ours. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopitha, they found little trace of its existence. What happened to Ron Perlman? Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raul was never <laughs> able to find peace with I himself. I love it. This is awesome. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. Hmm. He's still Without out there. organized leadership, the remaining boomers slowly drifted away, leaving Nellis Air Force Base to be flooded by prospectors and scavengers. To get scavenged. All of the boomers' accumulated knowledge quickly scattered, and their existence slowly faded from memory. Veronica put her moral sensibilities aside and supported the Brotherhood's new campaign of aggression she as best it. she could. Yet, deep down, she understood that it meant their end would surely be soon to follow. So emo. Fiends Felicia. overran Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of what? Hoover Dam. In the anarchic months that followed, the fiends asserted dominance over outer Vegas. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. What? Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients. We ruined struggling everything. Struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. Of course, sticky people. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. I'm okay with that. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, 
They carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. It took more time than anticipated for a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia to be found. But in the end, it was beneficial to Jacob. Did they find it? The presence of the Nightkin leader, Keen, persuaded Nightkin from across the wasteland to make the journey to the town. Jacobstown prospered, becoming known as a fair, if somewhat intimidating, place for we a liberated trade to do business. It. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. What? Eventually, she <laughs> parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. What about Rex? The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. With the transplant of Look Lupus' at... brain, Rex Look gained all of the donor's experiences traveling with the Legion. Legend. These melded well with his own memories of the Legion, and his new mind quickly adjusted to the myriad memories. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's no. citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to yes. Novak to help restore its defenses, That's our hometown. allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Novak hype. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. <laughs> Should have wiped them out. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Despite NCR's pledge to support Prim, they abandoned the town after their loss to the courier. Get tracked. Independent again, Prim operates much as it had before the powder gangs arrived. That's so cool they're doing all, all these individual check-ins. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Nice, the book end. Fade to black. I'll tell you what. Really, really enjoyable. And, you know, I fell in love with uh, Fallout 3, having not played 1 or 2 before. And then, you know, this has been out for a long time. And then, you know, I was talking to someone and they asked me, hey, does this still stand up? You know, one of my buddies. Like, this playing New Vegas, does this still stand up today? You know, towards the the other games out there and and with some mods I think it does I mean it was really fun to play um, it's uh there's so much to it even just the ending like seeing the different how everything branched off and I'd imagine there's probably three or four different endings for each one of those people and uh, that was pretty cool and I know that we barely scratched the surface of what was available um, but I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. There's a few mods. I know there's one for sure we're going to be checking out now that I'd like to think we're well-versed in New Yegas. Um, there's one. Uh, it's like uh, you get one shot at playing it. So you play through it and you try to finish it. And if you die, it's over. We'll probably give that a shot. Um, and get ready for Fallout 4. Really excited for that. And this was just like the perfect bridging of the gap. Um to get to Fallout 4, but I want to thank you guys so much. You know, you guys made this experience awesome. You, you know, I've never really done a full RPG playthrough like this, and and have you guys play along and comment along and and learn the origins of TW Solo. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm probably I think I'm just gonna step out of this and. Um, I'll let the credits roll, and you guys can enjoy it. But uh, one final time for Sydney Detroit Wolfram. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this series, I encourage you to the like button. Hitting the like button helps support the video, the channel, and TW Solo's face. I'll see you guys next time. Seth Admiral. Enjoy the credits. Tastes like burning.
Mexican Coke is the best. My wife says that. Credit me as Travis El Gimpo Stout in the wacky credit so I don't look like a fuddy duddy. Eric Dirty Fenster, Fenster Maker. That's what she said. So many people worked on this game. Mojave, Mo Problems. <laughs> It compiles, it must work. <laughs> Ashley Childlike, Cat Empress of Chocolate Mushrooms. <laughs> Dead monkey? What the heck is dead monkey? I just noticed that Sunset Sars Perilla. Sunset Sars. Sars Perilla? I thought it was Sarsaparilla. Sunset Sarsa Parilla. Paria? The Ultra Lux. What a bunch of scumbags in there. Human Resources.
My dad milt for everything, especially the Commodore 64 that started it all. Benny, Ron Perlman, Mr. New Vegas, Ron Perlman. That was Wayne Newton? Chief Hamlin, Ron Perlman. Narrator, not Ron Perlman. <laughs> Wayne Newton. Who is Yes Man? Danny Trejo, Machete. Felicia Day. <clears throat> Papa Khan. Can't forget Papa Khan. The King James Horan. Festivus. Mitch Lewis had a good voice. How about Yes Man? Yes, man, swindled us. Got swindled. Rachel, Rachel Yaswell. Robo brain, will clever nickname Wheaton. Didn't even notice his voice. But yes, man. Yes, man gets no love. When they sort your name by the first letter. Ron Juan. What an awesome name. <laughs> what the heck is Dead Monkey? Oh, is that that cartoon? Dean Domino. Wasn't there a cartoon? Salt follows chalk. Dr. Mobius Cam Clark. Veronica Belmont. Dr. Whiteley. hands off my lunch. There's a lot of people that worked on this game.
The only website in the credits. Ionzer.com. Based on Fallout 3. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Seeger. Steve Yerkins. Yeah, it was a long road. I just went to thinking back about our character creation. That's crazy. Where's this, this episode? It's about three months? Over three months. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. about Sarah Plotkin though good old SP Ryan Fickles Laffy. Is that your first name? Your first name's Laffy? Four moderators even getting a shout out. Princess Stomper. <laughs> Having fun at the Hoover Dam. See you soon. Eh, no, you won't. Human resources. Getting kind of a grudge just with these credits. Executive chef. David Double Space Gordon. Why does he get the extra space? Paul knew, not related to old Paul. <laughs> Associate P. There better be an, a little nougat at the end of this. I would hope there's a little nougat. Bethesda, France, of course. Why wouldn't there be Bethesda, France?
Ain't that a kick in the head? See, we didn't listen to any of these songs. That brings up the interesting debate. Because what's going to happen to Fallout 4? Are we going to listen to the music and just say YOLO swag on the, on the uh, claiming? Home on the wastes. All rights reserved. The ink spots. Jingle, jingle, jingle. I don't want to be a... <laughs> Mad about the boy. of New Yino. Dead monkey. Never forget. Wait, that guy's name is Hampus Flink. <laughs> I want you to meet my good pal, Hampus. Hampus Flink.
pink noise. You gotta have pink noise. Ah, get the camera. Is this the end? Trademarks of of obsidian. It's not correct. Uses bink video. Uses face gen software from 2002. <laughs> Oh, this came out in 2010. Five years ago. I thought it was 2009. It's final street creds. What do we got here? Congratulations on completing Fallout New Vegas. Would you like to load a save prior to the Hoover Dam battle? If you select no, you'll be returned to the main menu. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time.